Grab interactions, add a new level of immersion and fun to your worlds. And with a few simple steps, you can make sure they work across platforms. Hey creators, my name is Velen, and in this World's Creator Academy tutorial, we'll walk through how to set up and optimize basic grab interactions for mobile. So let's get started. First, we need to understand what makes grab interactions work. Grabbing and manipulating objects is how players truly interact with your world. It lets them pick up, examine, and use items. So let's walk through implementing basic grab interactions that work seamlessly across all platforms. To make any object interactive, you set it as grabbable. This lets players pick up and manipulate objects using VR controllers or touch controls. When setting up grabbable objects, make sure that the object is a root entity, has collision enabled, and the interaction mode is set to grabbable or both. On mobile, players use on-screen buttons to grab and release objects. You can customize the action icon that appears when players hover over grabbable objects for clear visual feedback. There are two types of grabs in Worlds, physics-based and non-physics. Physics-based grabs simulate real-world behavior. Objects respond to gravity and collisions. Use these when you want things like throwable balls, tools that bounce, or props that can be knocked over. Non-physics grabs, on the other hand, keep the objects stable and anchored to the hand. These are great for items like menus, HUDs, or objects that shouldn't move once picked up. Something important to note is that on mobile, the grab distance is fixed and much longer than in VR. This means players on mobile can grab items from farther away, even across the room, while in VR, they'll need to reach much closer. This difference isn't something you can change, so be sure to design your interaction patterns with both platforms in mind. For example, in mobile-friendly worlds, you might use the longer grab range to let players quickly pick up tools from a toolbar UI, no walking required. For more tips on designing grabbable objects for mobile, check out the link to the creator manual in the description below. Once you've set up the basics, Worlds gives you even more ways to refine grab interactions and create polished, immersive experiences. In this section, we'll look at two powerful features that help you control how and where objects are grabbed. The first is grab anchors. This allows you to fine tune how objects attach to the avatar's hand. The other is two-hand grab, which allows you to do larger, realistic interactions in VR. So let's dive into each. By default, when a player grabs an object, it attaches at the center of the mesh. But sometimes you want more control. For example, to make a sword grab by the hilt or a paintbrush by the handle. That's where grab anchors come in. Grab anchors let you define the exact position and rotation where the player's hand should attach to the object. To enable this, open the object's properties and turn on grab anchor. By default, the anchor is set to position zero and rotation zero, which centers the hand on the object. But you can adjust these values to shift the grab point to any location on the mesh. For example, setting the Y position to negative one moves the grab point lower so the hand grabs from underneath. This is especially useful for tools, weapons, or any object that should be held in a specific way. Setting the grab anchor in the right spot makes the object feel more natural to hold and easier for players to use. Another advanced option is two hand grab, which allows players, particularly in VR, to hold an object with both hands. This is ideal for large objects, like long weapons, instruments, or interactive machines, where two points of control feel more realistic. To enable this, go to the object's grab settings and turn on Allow Two-Hand Grab. When active, players in VR can grab the same object with both hands and move or rotate it with greater control. Note that this feature is VR only. Mobile and desktop players won't see the two-hand behavior, so it's a good idea to test interactions across devices and provide alternate controls if needed. Two-hand grab helps you create more immersive and tactile experiences in your world. Now let's cover the best practices that will make your grab interactions feel professional and polished. On mobile, grabbable objects need visible outlines when players hover over them. This helps players identify interactive objects, especially on smaller screens. So in this case, we're gonna go into the editor and actually create a little grabbable to see how this stuff works. In our case, we're gonna start with just a basic sphere, drag that into our world, and this is what we're gonna be gra grabbing. Now, obviously the sphere is a little big, so I'm immediately gonna go into our scale property, and I'm just gonna make it much smaller. There, it's a little sphere that our player is going to pick up. Now by default, you can see that on motion, this is set to none, but when you do drop down, we'll select interactive. This is where grabbable comes from. In our interaction, we've select grabbable since we're not gonna be using physics for this example. That's it, just by default behavior selecting grabbable, it'll work. So if we click play in our editor now, and we go to our sphere, you'll see that immediately once the player approaches our grabbable, there's an outline, an icon, plus the E key, since we're on desktop. We press the E key, and there you go. The player has picked up our sphere. 
So now exiting from there, some important things just to keep in mind, let's stop our simulation, is that collision does need to be enabled in order for Grabable to work. Otherwise, if I toggle it off and actually go back into the editor, you'll see that it no longer actually allows me to pick it up. My player just passes through it, there's no outline, there's no pop-up telling me that I can pick it up. To make grab interactions feel smooth and easy on mobile, here are three quick tips to keep in mind. Tip number one, you want to design for distance. On mobile, players tap from farther away, so make sure grabbable objects are big enough, spaced clearly, and easy to target on a touchscreen. Tip number two, use clear visual and haptic feedback. When players grab or release an object, it's important to provide feedback so they know the action worked. This could be a highlight sound or a small vibration, which is known as haptic feedback. Haptic feedback helps players feel the interaction, even on a flat screen, and can make grabbing feel more satisfying. And finally, keep it lightweight. To improve performance, use low polygon models and compressed textures for mobile. Fewer details means faster loading and smoother gameplay. By following these mobile-friendly tips, you'll create grab interactions that feel great across all devices and especially responsive on phones and tablets. So are you ready to put this into practice? Start off by experimenting with grabbable objects in your worlds. You'll want to test different configurations to find what works best for your gameplay. And don't forget to share your work on the Meta Horizon Creator Forum for feedback. By applying these techniques and iterating on your designs, you'll create engaging experiences that will captivate players. So happy creating, and see you in Worlds.